Looking for a reliable, easy to use and flexible spline tool with lots of features? Yeah, this is one of them. Over the past three years, DreamTech Splines has helped hundreds of projects become a reality and we believe will be a good fit for you as well. We made creating and editing splines as simple as possible by giving you a bunch of native tools that you're already familiar with. Each tool's behavior is highly configurable in order to cover a wide range of use cases and there have been quite a few and unusual ones throughout the years. Once you have created a spline, you can do all sorts of things with it. It's just a matter of picking the right component. You want to follow a spline? Attach a spline follower component to your object and link the spline. Done. You need to create geometry? Use one of the mesh generators to extrude existing meshes or create geometry from scratch. Spawning objects, controlling particles, constraining physics objects and much more. All very much possible out of the box with no coding. And for the developers out there, our API is open. Everything that the editor can do can be easily programmed to work in runtime. We also provide a pack of Playmaker actions for the more design-oriented people out there. Other things worth mentioning, junctions and train systems, we have an example of this you can use, terrain leveling, import and export of splines, procedural primitives with lots of parameters, saving and loading your own presets, morphing, multi-threading, oh yeah, and the performance is pretty good. I'm not sure why I keep watching this on my phone though.